Good day, everyone. Clockroo reporting, and welcome to, to, uh, I was about to say the final, no, the second final match of Group B in Hogs of War Middle League 2024 between Komori and Borealis. And joining me for the first time, I think, all year in the commentary booth, would you please welcome the 2022 Hogs of War Pro League champion, Iron Fox! Hello, people. All right. Now, before we get to this match, uh, let's quickly go over the ramifications of this group. Um, ADB, if you could, during the editing, just quickly splash the ladder for Group B on screen now. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. So, for this match between Kamori and Borealis, the results can, uh, can lead to this. If Kamori wins or takes a draw, he will go straight through to the semi-final. If Borealis wins 2-0, he will go straight through to the semi-final. But if Borealis wins 2-1, then they will tie. And then depending on what happens in the match between Cypher and Zarin, which comes pretty much right after this, it could go to pig count. Otherwise, Kamori and Borealis will have to play again. So that is the full rundown for this group going into the, to the final matches. So after hearing all of that, Fox, um, how excited are you for uh, these upcoming games tonight? Yeah, I have been pretty much out of loop for a while now since I have just had so much stuff to do. But for this map at least, I think Komori has slightly better lineup. You reckon? Oh yeah, maps. So we're playing on Canyon, Pitch Invasion, and if we go to map 3, Top Temple. And uh, as we can see, uh, Komori has gone with uh, Orderly, Grenadier, Paratrooper, Sapper, Gunner. Giving Komori to go ahead to start now. And when he goes to Borealis' screen, Borealis has Grenadier, Gunner, Paratrooper, Scout, Gunner. And I find it interesting that you say that this is the better team uh, when he, when uh, Komori has gone with the Orderly on Canyon, honestly. Yeah, it can be very powerful, but the thing is that I think it would be more useful on the last two maps. So we will see how that will work out. Yeah, for me, Canyon is very much a long-range map, and it's going to be Borealis who's starting. Uh, as anyone who saw my match against Vuxy would know about the power of long-range play. But it's going to be interesting to see what the two players here are like, so... Let's see what Borealis is doing up with his Grenadier. Where's... Where's he going? I mean, this seems pretty standard start for Canyon overall. Like, hide the Grenadier in good position, throw a long-range cluster. It's gonna reach. Can it reach from here? Yeah, it definitely can. Oh, he's been practicing that shot. That's a good shot. Is no. There is even oh, chance for instant kill from there, but at least that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, is Kamori trying to run around up there? He's not gonna have time. I can testify to that. Nah, you you actually can. If you don't worry about who you triangulate, you can triangulate someone for sure. It's gonna need to get the Trank up first. Like, triangulizing the Gren Grenadier will not work, but if any other target is fine, yeah, it's doable. Yeah, I didn't even see this guy here, so, uh, yep, that worked out in the end. So, gonna see if Boreal has been practicing his long range shots here. If he can make this more to connect. Yeah, as far as I have seen, he has been pretty good with mortals, mm. mortals overall, so... Oh, actually, this looks good. This looks really good. And he is aiming for the prime target, being Grenadier. I think he may have overangled a little. No, no it's, it's perfect! Well, 48, but it's still very good damage. Yeah, it was not a Grenadier at all, but still, good damage. Oh, wait, not the Grenadier. <laughs> Yeah. We'll look at the wrong the, unit. Yep. Yeah. My bad. I was oh, sure that no, the Grenadier... Glory. Nah, that is also doable. Oh. <laughs> you know this yeah. map better than me, in fairness, though. I mean, these grenades are a pretty common sight in the Pro League, I would say. Yeah. Borel's... Uh, the Kawori's, I mean, has definitely shown that he's got the skills to compete at that level, I reckon. Oh, that was dangerous. You got the guy, knocked him down, but that's a long wait now. Oh, uh, yeah, he's just going to body block and do a... Uh, yeah, shot. no. 
that's a mistake. Never body block a paratrooper here. Yeah, especially one that hasn't had their turn. They're gonna get yeah. all three jetpacks off? Yeah, he definitely can if he wants to. Or he can just push the pig next to the crate and use the... Oh, the crate is not here just yet. Then never mind. <laughs> now, I should have spawned in. Oh, I know oh. what will happen. Or yeah, else that... standing on the spot where the crate spawns in. So he picked it up. Yeah, so this was definitely a mistake. Now the Grey Paratrooper will get the crate for sure. Yeah. And, and abandoning the, take... the uh, paratrooper that you could have sunk all those jetpacks into. Yeah, that might have been a mistake as well. Yeah, this was definitely a mistake. I mean, dealing damage to Grenadier is always good, but yeah, that was not optimal turn. Hmm. All right, bringing in the scout. And is it going to be poison game? Yep, it's going to be poison game. Okay, is he going to hit Medic or Grenadier though? Medic is very difficult target because of the body block, but the Grenadier is also not very easy target at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of an awkward position uh, where that uh, orderly is, right next to that, especially with that incline there, but he's going for it. And okay, that, he that gets was, it. Yeah, that was dangerous, but very well done. Very cleanly done. And he is not going to sink damage into the paratrooper again? I'm not sure about that move. I mean, I don't know. If the paratrooper is left there alone, he's not doing much. But he's got bazooka, so if he opts for the long-range game there, he could definitely take it. Yeah, he's true. He's going for... Thinking damage, big shrapnel damage into a uh, scout. Mm, awkward yeah. angle. I don't mind that paratrooper was Ooh. not the damage this turn. Okay, that was good shot. Whoa. But the previous turn with the, with the purple paratrooper was definitely a mistake, in my opinion. This damage was on that scout, you reckon? 50 or 70? I think it had to be 70 or more, but I'm not sure. And... No, don't scare me! <laughs> you're gonna... You're gonna sink a... You're gonna sink a mortar into the... Into the Grenadier? Seriously? I mean, I think it's it's a good idea. Like, it's a difficult shot with Bazooka as well, so if you can hit it, it's at no, least... It, it's actually no different to with a Bazooka, because it's the same power shot, 100%. Yeah, but it was almost Didn't a kill. Him out. It was almost a kill, because the mortar... pay the price! Yeah, the mortar deals a little bit more damage if it hits, like, far away compared to Bazooka, but yeah, that was still not enough. Like, it was 2 HP. Yeah. Going up there. And the positioning is gonna make head jumping a pain. It looks like he's getting into a really awkward position for Kamori, so that's a good play then. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. We can make this connect. Oh! Oh! Dang. That was painful to watch. That was enough angle, but it wasn't. Yeah, that was painful to watch. All right, Mori doing the right thing with the orderly and healing up his units. He's gonna trank this guy again. Although at this point, do you think there are other units you can probably prioritize tranking, like? Maybe these... Oh, wait, the scout's been launched away. Doesn't matter. My bad. Yeah, everyone else is too far away. It might have been still worth it going for the scout, but I don't know. Since the scout's exact HP is unknown, it would be a bit risky. He's still gunning down that grenadier, but that's near water. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Is it going to land or is it wet? It lands. Okay. It's a good hit. The grenadier still That's always has... a risk taking a... Yeah, a high shot has... when your opponent is right next to water. Cause... Yeah, and he has enough it's HP to... Yeah, Grenadier has enough HP to run fast, so that's not a problem. And he's going to be gunning down... Blowing up this, this scout by the look of it. Okay, why is he swimming? That's... Ooh. I think about dropping my health to 24 to... Uh, to... Nah, probably maybe not actually. Nah, I'm thinking of maybe the, uh, yeah, the scout skip should, range. Yeah, scout should die from here. 
Yeah, but in the event that he screwed up his shots, I was thinking maybe he could afford to drop himself a little bit more in the water to yeah. mitigate skip damage. Yeah, but from 30 to 15, that's not worth, worth it, in my opinion. Hmm. I suppose it comes down to the player and their cognitive decision at the moment. We're gonna see... Probably... Sink... Yep, he's gonna be finishing off this, uh... Grenadier? Did he land in the water? Yep. Oh, he did! That's a sunk Grenadier! Okay, that was so rushed shot, there was no way this was gonna hit. Yeah, he, he had no idea where he was looking. Gonna try and get out there and do the head jumps, but that's really nah, he, awkward. Yeah, he has to drop the jetpack. Yeah, if he does the head jump, he will fall down. And that's just gonna cause that wasting more time. One. Oh, the sleep. That's. Ooh. Need to hurry up with the shot. You're gonna get it. Another rush shot, but this hits. Get a bit of a body block? Not really, but it's something. It is very even a game so far. Looking that way. But it's all over is... the map as well, so... Yeah, but the thing is, Pelori well, did it... use better lineup here, so... I don't know. That That is good for Borealis. Like, overall, if he does well here. Yeah. It looks like he's just going to... Another shrapnel shot. Let's see if he can do another good one like the last. Oh! Yep, another 50. Saving those TNCs for when he really needs them. Yep. And this is probably going to be a short range mortar by the look of it. I mean, there is a chance for kill if he shoots, shoots it well. Yeah. There is a chance for the shrapnel to instantly detonate on him. I'm not sure what the chances are or how exactly it functions, but it's a long, sh slightly long, so that's not yeah, happening, requires, unfortunately. But it, re it requires perfect heat and slight elevation change, so it would work. Right. It looks like he's going to be hunting down the... Who's around that corner again? Got my lineups. Lost the... And the deer was a scout. That'll be the other paratrooper. But yeah, water. I don't know. This might be too far away. It's still gonna be extra damage, but I don't think that's gonna be amazing. I don't know if it's going to be enough to drown him. Nah. So that could be something Borealis can capitalize on. Yeah, just one shade back like and will. straight shot with Bazooka is what I would do. You're gonna master with the straight shots in fairness, so you know all about that. Oh, that's... Reposition here. Why did he wait so long? I mean, it works out. So it just was a bit to... risky. Round him? That's not... Always explained it. No, he's just... Good hit, at least. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad move. All right. Let's see if the orderly can do anything. He's units are a long way away. I mean, he can. Oh, that guy's heal... close enough to get the heal off, though. Yeah, he can heal someone, and then he just has to tranquilize the different gunner. Yeah. I mean, the paratrooper, not oh. the gunner. Uh, just don't para uh, get the para. You mean because the para is on low health? That'll be a, that'll be a wasted trank. I don't know. I don't remember it the exact hell. He's below twenty. Well and truly, he was limping. Think so? Yeah. All right. This gunner has lost all three of his turns, but he's still loaded with equipment. And I think this guy can just sink all his damage into the other power into this gunner here. He still got jetpacks. He's remembered. Yeah, he he shouldn't save them at this point. Like this guy will die soon, so no point saving them. I probably think about this being maybe the time for a straight shot to try and launch the guy over the wall, but he's going for a short shot. Mm. 
I mean, he did get better position that way. Like, I'm not confident enough with my shot, so I would have definitely taken a straight shot. But if that would have worked, it would have been, it would have been better. I... And yeah, you were correct. The paratrooper, well. the paratrooper was very low, so no triangulating that guy. Yeah. I'd think about doing a low angle shot here and going high power because if you get it wrong, it's in the water. Yeah, it's true, but each has their own style. Like, that I'm is... always going for straight shots, but most people don't really like them that much. Yeah. Okay, this well, guy doesn't have... Well, off, so there is that. Yeah, this guy doesn't have good does targets. Yeah. Like, there is no one to throw shrapnel or use TNT on here. Nah, there isn't. Apart from the gunner. Yeah, uh, he can... I may as well TNT with the number of health yeah. he's on. Not much he... point using the shrapnel. Yeah, he can probably get far enough. Yep, he's realized that the TNT is better. Yeah, I mean, I guess he just picked the shrapnel in case he's not making it in time. Kamori so far is comfortably leading this game. Yeah, this guy's... He's just got to rely on his long shots here to see what he can do. Yeah, he kind of needs body blocks to bring it back now. But I don't know, this guy's pretty much dead anyway, so... Yeah, it's looking pretty boon for Borealis at the point. Unless he can absolutely master his long-range shots in the dire moments. Well, that's enough at least he gets guy. rid of this paratrooper. And in the event that it comes down to big count in the end, that every kill counts. Okay, now he needs to body block. Yeah, he needs to body block with every turn now. This is going to be very dire for Borealis now, because he's down to this guy. He needs to figure out ways to do something just to get back into the game. Yeah, I guess he is gonna body block the gunner, but if he swims, that's gonna be some extra damage. Okay, he's not swimming. Nice. Yeah, he's going the long way around. Ooh! One tick. Not enough time to now take the grave. Oh, that seems, seems a bit rushed, but we will see. Oh, what and a shot. Got the damage! Yeah, the, da the damage was okay, but most importantly, he did get the body block. Ooh, he's in a tasty health. A direct hit would put him in skip range if he times it correctly. Yeah, that was never going to help you, unfortunately, uh, Kamori. Unless oh. he's... Oh, he's going for self-damage sacrifice here. Too early? I mean, if this works, that's good enough, I would say. Yeah, that works. Lots of de damage there, and he just survives. But one health, that is yeah. going to be enough to help. Yeah, there is Unless no way. Unless this is a miracle mortar. How much is the guy on? Yeah, he would have Ooh. to get the same type of heat. Like, he would have to get at least two shrapnels here. This needs to be a miracle hit for Borealis. No guts, no glory! But I think that's long. Yeah, yeah. Damage, is, damage is good, but not enough for this situation. Yep. Barring any weird mistakes, I think Kamori's got this. Yep, this should be enough. Yeah, I, I like and this finishing be... move. Yep, that will be game one to Kamori. Very interesting game to watch. It did actually come down to the wire somewhat in the end, but only because Kamori made it happen with that... Uh that mortar shot. I'm not sure if it was the right move, but if it was what he wanted to do, then all the power to him for it. Alright, so I guess we can uh, just move on to the next, next game and see if we can conclude this match early, and hopefully avoid a headache if we have to uh, rely on pig count. So, 
We'll end this one here and see you in the next game, everyone. And we are back, everybody. Now we are on a pitch invasion. Now we're going to be seeing uh, Kamori going for orderly para para scout scout. Um, go. And and he gets to Borealis. You'll see that he has orderly para para scout scout. So mostly the same lineups, just fourth pick is a bit different. So your opinion, Fox, on these two teams going into this one? Yeah, I don't know who has advantage here for the picks. Like, picks are so close to each other. Sapper or scout. I mean, if the sapper gets good shrapnels, that might decide the game. But other than that, this can go either way. Yeah. It's also going to be interesting to see uh, how they play with their powers in regards to the air burst. Because, that, because as I have demonstrated with my match against Borealis, it is a potential trap to leave your pig up on that, uh, that plinth because your opponent can easily take advantage of it, and it is possible to do huge air burst damage. I did not demonstrate that in our match, unfortunately. It looks like Kamori's going for the moment action up front. As it should be. Yeah. Well, Where else was wondering uh, before the match, actually, uh, if maybe going at least second on this map wasn't, wasn't would work, but I'm not sure if it would have been a good idea either way. Yeah, I mean, Medic Second is a move I don't like to make very often, because in case you actually go first, you will still lose Medic Advantage. Yeah. My opinion, I think the only time it's okay not to have the Orderly on first uh, is when you're on a map that has Medicine Darts or Medicine Balls, and then you can probably get away with having the Orderly on third, because then you can uh, attempt to heal your Orderly uh, next turn. Yeah, to, or um, mitigate the uh, or in a map where you cannot actually reach the other medic. That's true. Fifty-five damage from this guy onto that. It's gonna be interesting. I did mention it was Borealis I was playing with when he did that trick. So uh, when I did that trick, so it's gonna be interesting to see if Borealis tries it himself. <laughs> Going for the Everus. Let's see what he does. It's so awkward to land here, because the shadow is a bit weird. He does get down. He's just... I think he's just gonna sink damage into... Scout! Interesting. Yeah, that's good. At least, he, at least he didn't... Oh, that sucks! Yeah, if, if he would have body blocked this guy, it, it, it would have been worse. At the, but he's still very close. He can still sink those uh, f yeah, in. He, yeah, he could probably get too easily. Third one would be risky. Mm, let's see. One. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get the third off. Two. Now pretty close to the edge. Yeah, but oh, here's the I don't know. Been testing with the machine gun. No, I, think, I don't think. I don't think that. Yeah, but it's it's not flat enough. Ooh, if oh, if you head. shoot, yeah, if you shoot it high enough, the pig will land short because not enough bullets hit. And if you shoot it like flat, then uh, it will not push the pig far enough. Because I've been practicing with the machine gun on different maps to see how many out of bounds kills you can pull off with it, and I found quite a lot. Including quite a lot of uh, first turn kills that can easily be, ex be exploited, especially on Square Off, which is uh, probably a bit scary. Oh, that's risky. I don't know if he can make the shot. Oh, no. Can he break it? Oh, oh no. He's I, gonna hit I himself. Don't like this. Yeah, he's gonna hit himself. Yeah, this is bad. I'm out still damage to the orderly, but more damage to himself is bad. Yeah, he should have just used Bazooka on another peak because there was not enough time to turn around. Even if the shot wasn't going to hit, he probably wouldn't have been better trying to go for a long shot at that point. Yeah, exactly. Like, this was the worst yeah. possible scenario I think, there. Yeah, I think uh, Kamori here is going to be trying to go for a uh, poison on the enemy orderly, I reckon? Or Yep. That's definitely yeah, the only be... valid target here. Ooh, double. Yeah. That's a good point. 
Oh, don't know about that angle. Oh, oh that sucks. Oh, and now the other picks are so Ooh. close. This is gonna be risky. That's a big gamble. Also, he now has three picks very close to each other. Like, if this scout can make that's... make its way there, that's gonna be a lot of poison picks. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe even, and if he gets the right extra damage onto that sapper. No, not sapper. A paratrooper. Uh, no, he's gonna go for the scout. Para, no, sorry. No, the I, para, yeah. I thought it was the uh, scout. I don't know. It's not a bad move, but the paratrooper will probably get another turn anyways. So I don't see yeah. much. And those point two guys that. are close together as well. Oh, sorry, I was talking over you. Those yeah, no two worries, guys are no close worries. together as well, so that's probably bad positioning on Kamori's part. Okay, that should be easy double right. poison. It should be. But if it's anything like Kamori's, uh, uh, fire poison. Oh! Oh, that's like. Take the shot, just take the shot. No! Oh, oh no! Yeah, the slippery tiles Finding on this map. Slippery tiles are pain oh. on this map. What? Oh, wait, he's full elf. Yeah, he's full. Yeah, I won't get that and say so use healing hand then. He's just going to trank up the orderly from a distance. That's probably actually a pretty good idea, because now that leaves huge damage to be dealt to these guys. Yeah, he can air push that pile instantly. Oh. I yeah, think I don't Kimura know. Is comfortably in control of this map right now. Yeah, I think Borealis's chances are near zero now. Yeah. Like he's Unless just he pulls so. something miraculous out, but yeah. Yeah, he Thank has. You, is also putting his things close together. Yeah, he has worse positionings at the moment, and he's like low on HP. He has his med oh. Oh, oh, useless. Oh, 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 or was that just me? Uh, did you get disconnected or something? Like the stream should be yeah, still running. Yeah, I think I got. I think it just lagged on my end. Yeah, yeah, it's on so your I end. I missed the shot, unfortunately. Yeah, it was perfect hit, but not that much shrapnel damage. Ah, that's unfortunate. Are you seeing the game now? Yeah, I can see it now. Not unfortunate. This guy's going up to heal. Can't move. Yeah, so the scouts. Poison was definitely useless now. And, oh! Ooh. Just get the airburst off and try to land it between the two guys. Ooh, nice. Not a bad it's shot. A pretty good shrapnel. Okay, problem is his peaks are very close to each other again. Whole battle is congregating in this one corner, in fact. So they're all doing the same thing of putting their picks together. Yeah, that's not the water that will sink the peak, so. Yeah, that's that's solid water. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. Uh, he's low on health, he was crouching, so this should be a dead sapper. Oh! oh. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, that guy's that guy was full. Oh. I didn't real. He was crouching, so I thought he was low on health. But nope, my mistake. Yeah, I would do probably a head jump here and use a shotgun. But I don't know if he can. That's not gonna hit both. Yeah, he should not just hit position. the. Yeah, he should just hit the medic and then try to get the medic land next to another pick or something. I don't know. I'm not sure about this placement. Yeah, th that's a bit too risky in my opinion. If yeah, the medic survives, okay, he didn't sur Yeah, it did work though. At least he got the most important At least got target. rid of the enemy order, so that's good. Now he can take full advantage of his own stuff. Uh, never mind. Yeah, he, he, needs to poison, he needs to poison the medic now. There is multiple targets, but he should poison the medic. No, don't. Don't, 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 don't. No, oh, never mind. I mean, I if he can get three has, peaks... No, towards it's... two scouts, so he's got a second chance. Yeah, if he can get three peaks poisoned now, then uh, that's pretty good. But 
the medic was on perfect poison range. Okay, no. I mean, I guess he just wants to deal with the medic, but that would have been free skip with the medic's HP. Now, with the second scout, though, he can afford to do it. So, Kamori's playing smart here. Oh, yeah, Kamori he had Olive, two scouts. Yeah, you are... another double. Yeah. yeah, you are correct. He had two scouts. He got it! He got the double! But now this guy's gonna come in and completely ruin that orderly's day. Marcus Poison gets used now. And I think yeah, looking at the timer, I th think all of... Oh no, wait. Uh, I think Boreal still has a uh, scout on his side. It's not poisoned. Yeah, that was but definitely right. Is poison, isn't it? Yeah, that, that was the right way to do that that move. Oh, this guy's not poisoned. I forgot. Yeah, one one head jump and cattle prod here, and that's another free skip. It looks, I think that's what he's doing actually. Yep, that's what he's doing. Not much Borealis can really do about, the, about these pigs. They're all on timers, and I think... Yeah, the power was up next. I think this is game over for Borealis, unfortunately. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So... Yeah, we're just at the point now where we're just waiting for the match to end here, I think, because... Yeah. At least, it, but at least, assuming it does end the way we assume it's going to, it's at least a clean result, which prevents the absolute headache we would have had otherwise. Komori still has a couple of poisoned peaks, so I don't know. I, I don't think we will see a comeback, but there is always a chance. Yeah, there is a chance, but I think it's very minimal at this point, so... Oh, I like this Another move. TNT. If he can get enough damage to the Paratrooper, that would be perfect here. You need to make sure you get it spot on, though. Too close or too far away, and it's not going to be the deal. He's going for a body block in return as well, so let's see. Oh, perfect. perfect! Of course, Komori can negate that because that guy just had his turn. Yep, true. The fact that he's forcing Komori to deal with his own unit is absolute spot on genius. Oh, it's not easy to do with poison with these positions, though. Yeah, that's kind of an awkward spot. Grenade launcher? I think that was a mistake. I don't know. That pick might be in skip range, but oh, I don't got know. Grenade launcher. Yeah, I don't know the HP, so. Okay, he was not in skip not range. Enough. Yeah, I think he's just trying to remember what the skip, what the hell for this guy was, but uh, no, he couldn't remember. Yeah, this HP is very bad, though. It's kind of... Not quite sure how to follow up, unfortunately. Oh, now he's going to detonate himself. Yeah, I don't know. Poisoning the, scout would, poisoning the scout would probably have been more useful, but yeah, that would have left this big pin risk for skipping, so... Yeah, so he just dealt with it up front. Yeah, but the this thing is that off... the sapper has about 30 HP, so the game is over now. Just one sniper shot is enough. Yeah, yeah it looks like it's pretty much... And dusted here. Oh, uh, yeah, she's gonna sniper rifle him to the face. In the back, and that stapper is gone. And yep, we're just waiting for the match to end now. Yeah, that's that very comfortable. That is gonna be a good game, dude. Oh, yeah, wait. very cool. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, that's the that... guy. I forgot. So yeah, <laughs> that, that was very, very comfortable. That is Kamori we... taking the match. And with it, he is going straight through to the semi final for Group B. Fox, what did you make of that match? Yeah, it was not as interesting to watch as the first map, but still not a bad game overall. Like, Borealis made yeah. some a bit awkward mistakes, I guess. And meanwhile, Komori didn't do any mistakes. Yeah.
Mori played a smooth game there. He played very cleanly, and it showed in that game right there. It's not all over for Borealis yet, because he still has the chance to, qual to uh, go up against Kamori if he can beat Cypher in the qualification match. Speaking of which, in about an hour from now, Cypher and Zarin are going to be having their match as well. So, um, we'll be able to, uh, not at the immediate moment, but we'll be able to relay after that match uh, the results of this one to him so he can know uh, if he's through to semifinals or not. So, but that's going to come with time. Uh, until th until then, um, that's the end of this match between Kamori and Borealis. Kamori is through to the semi-final. Borealis will have to fight for his survival in the quarter-final. Um, I'm actually going to ask this now, uh, if uh, live on chat chat now, uh, Fox, uh, will you be available to help me with uh, recording for the Cypher and Zarin match, or no? Yeah, probably. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's going to be in about an hour or so's time, so we'll get to that when the time comes. Okay, but yep. until then, everyone, this has been Hogs of War Middle League Group B, Kamori versus Borealis, and we'll see you guys for the final match with Zarin and Cypher later. See you guys! Bye!